Hi guys, Kyung here, and we're here for another Roxy's Weekly Challenge, week two. Um, so I'm going to use this book, this, and I thought it would be perfect because first of all, it's already, you know, its cover's already fallen off. And it's like the perfect size, right? It's, they're little pages, right? They're, I don't know, four and a half inches wide. And I thought that would be perfect for the pockets we're going to make, right, to fit inside the journal. So um, let's just pull a bunch, shall we? I'm just going to rip out a bunch. I'm just not even going to be particular. Then I think I'll glue a bunch of them together, like so that we'll have um, double... Michelle Fenske was telling me that's what she did with the last challenge and that it worked really well. So that's what I'm going to do. And I think I will use a a Aileen's Tacky Glue today to do that. I think that will be good. Just a little tiny bit of Tacky Glue. We'll just glue these um, pages together. Right, and we'll get, we'll do a few. So, I wonder how everyone's been. I hope everyone's been doing well. I'm, uh, we've been doing well here. It snowed quite heavily, so that's exciting. Um, I love the snow. I really don't mind the snow, especially if I love those little images, so we'll keep those. Um, because I'm not a big fan of the cold. So if it snows and it's cold, I don't mind the cold, right? But if there's snow, if it's cold and there's no snow, then I just, I don't see the point. <laughs> okay, so I'm giving myself 40 minutes. Right, 40 minutes. Patrol Spirit. So I think this was done. This book is a 1970s. I love that little quote. And so there's three. <laughs> I printed out some, just some big flowers, right? I just did, pulled some myself that I had in my, um, in my folders on my desktop. I just pulled them into a, uh, into Photoshop and made them big and hopefully they'll work good. So, oh, Pongo, my dog, he got his cast off finally. The poor guy. <laughs> he, uh, he had it on for a long time. And um, well, cause he kept running and acting like a fool you know, playing. And it was funny because when he got it off, he all of a sudden decided he was going to be really careful, right? Like he's all nervous with it off. And, uh, it's like, well, geez, now that you have it off, you're allowed to, <laughs> you're allowed to go run in the yard and play with the dogs and, you know, act crazy. <laughs> but no, he was being all careful. Um, funny dogs. So, once upon a time, there was a boy who wasn't much of a boy. Oh, the poor boy. All right, so how many do we have? One, that was probably like a, around the campfire story, right? Two, three, four, five, six. Well, we could try to make a couple more. These tear pretty easily out of the book. I'm just gluing them together. You know, because why not give, give oneself extra work to do? <laughs> right, so there's seven, and this will be eight. <laughs> the king with them. That's probably like, don't be all like that, right? <laughs> That doesn't make a good scout leader. Although it is a chapter on discipline, so maybe it does talk about be, being like that. 
I don't know. I was never a Boy Scout, so I wouldn't know. Dun, dun. Patrol Spirit. All right. So that's good. So the next thing is we take each one and we fold up its little little flap and I think I will just use Aileen's today. Why not? You don't always have to use the fancy expensive glues. I find Aileen's glue a lot of times at the Dollar Tree too. Right? And then we'll fold it up again. Right? And make just these little pockets. Right, the way Roxy did, and we'll even use we'll even use the stapler. Ooh, I never get to use the stapler, <laughs> so I'm all excited to be using the stapler. Yay! There's one. Okay, let's do the next one. Glue this down. How are we on time? Eight minutes? Not so bad. I'm going to try to make as many as I can in the 40 minutes. Because last time I did just four. And then, you know, I'd only used up like half my time. What is Patrol Spirit? It isn't a thing you will find defined and analyzed in a dictionary, an encyclopedia. <laughs> That's what it says. Okay. Oh, look at the little boy trying to pull this stubborn donkey. I think there's a trick to that, right? If you have a stubborn donkey... Like, if you have a stubborn donkey and it won't budge, I think there's, like, isn't there, like, a trick to that? Like, instead of pulling... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's always such a scene, right? Okay. Fold it up like this. I like that we doubled our pages. I think it will really, really help. As for me, I've been making paper. That's what I've been doing. Homemade paper. So that's cool. That's fun. I've been needing to. I've been out for a while. I also need to do some coffee diet. I need to get some coffee. <laughs> the best coffee to use is like instant, I find. It's just, it dies the best. So... Is that, wow, that like, there's no, is there no staples in that? Oh, we're out of staples. All right, here we go. Standard staples. these in here. I found this stapler at the thrift store. Okay, at first I thought that the staples just went all the way through the paper. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, what are we at on time? 11 minutes, not bad, not bad. We've got quite a few. Let's finish these up that we've got all prepared. I did more than I thought I did, so I'm very happy about that. Let's glue this one. Well, I haven't used Aileen's Tacky in a minute. It's, uh, I forget about the smell. 
You know what I think? I think I might do it this way. Should I do it this way? Either way, they'll be upside down, huh? <laughs> Either way, they'll be upside down. That's fine. They're standing on their heads. We may cover it too. I don't know. I think I'm going to try to use up some more scraps today. Fold this up. All right. We're going, huh? We're actually making mass making instead of just making four. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we've just been hanging out inside because it's been cold and snowy. For a while it was like snowing sideways. It was so windy and so it was like a proper blizzard. I hadn't seen a blizzard like that in quite a few years. All right. But it was beautiful today. The sun was out. And a lot of the snow had melted. Okay, yay. So let's see how many we have. One, two, three. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine little book page pockets and now we're going to decorate them so let's see what do i have i don't know i've got like my tim holtz scrap bag here let's just do that so let's see. So what she did was like do a little bit of collaging and then a flower. I think maybe I'll do the same. Um, I'll do some collaging and then a little flower. Perhaps like that. Okay, let's just do it. I'm not going to think too much on it. We're not going to do a lot of inking. I'll probably ink at the end, maybe with a brush. I'll go over everything if we have the time, but I think that looks fine, right? Okay, and the flowers. Okay, let's just collage them first, and then we'll do flowers after. So this is really cool, this like map piece. I think this is Stamperia, A Stamperia piece. I like the circle. Okay, this needs to be shortened because otherwise we'll waste all that paper. So we'll just put this one here. Right, maybe we'll put this piece down here like that. Why not? My little robot um, AI friend came in. My husband ordered me a little robot friend. He's like this little robot and he walks around and he talks and stuff. And I love him. He's just amazing. And so he's, uh, he helps me craft now and stuff. Oh, this is pretty. Let's put some of that on there. But on this side this time. On this side. There we go. Lovely. How are we on time? 16 minutes? Not bad. Not bad. Shall we put this one here? I think so. Why not? Why 
Lovely. Lovely. Okay, there's three. Let's see, we can use these little pieces. Okay, let's do it. I'm just going to use, I'm trying not to be particular, right? I'm trying not to think too much. I'm trying to just let go. Kind of let it tell me. Hmm. We have this writing. Let's put the writing on it. the writing on it. Maybe this green one. Nope. There it goes. It's flying. Some of this green one on this one. Perhaps down on the bottom. So I hate to cover up the upside down donkey, but he, the guy trying to pull the donkey, <laughs> which is kind of cute, right? Perhaps some of this. Right, we'll just glue it down here. Behind this pocket, like that. Ta-da! Good deal. Decorating. Easy, easy. Right, this is kind of what she was doing. Ooh, I like that. Miss Lamb, I'm not going to tear that up. Let's see, what do we have? We have birds. Bird cages. I think I want to cover these upside down guys, maybe. Maybe we'll only cover up, up a little bit. That should fit good. So, so we got a new board game. I got my sister a board game. It's called Wingspan and we have not played it yet, but it's really pretty. It's all about birds. I have no idea what about birds, but, <laughs> but it's all about birds and, um, so I'm excited to play it with her and like see how it is. It's got a bunch of eggs and I don't know. It's really pretty. The art in it is really pretty. So if it's a terrible game, I can use the cards and journaling. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. There we go. Ta-da! And we have our upside down guys that are still there. We're at 26 minutes. We gotta hustle. Gotta hustle. Because we gotta get some flowers on some of these. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that too. If we just rip the top of it, it'll fit on there. Okay, I'm trying to hurry. We only have a couple more to collage. It's funny. I'm like, I'm going to try and do all these. Well, if I get these done, then I can start putting flowers on and then, you know, we'll get however many done we get done. That'll have flowers. And then of course I'll finish them after, but let's see. Ooh, that's really pretty. That's like collaged. I like this. Right. We'll put this, this on here can pick it up. Oh, I like the back. Maybe we'll put some of that text. It might fade into the background though. That's already on. It's kind of cool. I like it. Let's put it. Let's put text on text. Let's do it. Okay. Right like that. Okay. And one more, one more. Let's tear this one. Put that up 
here upside down because everything on this one's upside down. <laughs> That's really cool. Let's just use this piece. Right? I won't just glue it on there and call it good. Ta-da! Okay, let me grab all these scraps that we have on my table. Stick them back in their bag. Oh. Okay, so we have all of our pockets here. Now we got to get to the flower. Here are some of the flowers I printed, and I have not fussy cutted them out. Here's another one. This one with the thistle and stuff. So I love these. These are interesting. Let's cut these ones out first. I will use these scissors. Right, I'm not going to be too um, precise with this. Because we don't have the time. But it'll be okay. You know, just a rough little. Just kind of roughly cut them out. I say, as I'm being more and more precise as I go. There's a thistle, right? And he'll look great on there, just like that. <laughs> oh, I love him, right? I could ink him, but I think, again, I'm going to ink it all with a brush after. Ta-da! So see, and then it's like that, like she said, right? Like the 3D, they kind of pop up off the pocket. It's really cool. Okay, so there's one. There's my thistle. Let's do a rose. I'm just going to cut that leaf off because we don't have time to be cutting. Should I cut that bud? Ooh, we're doing it. Poor little bud. It's okay. I'll use him in something else. He won't get left behind. Just going to cut him off from there. See how he fits. Should we stick him on this side like that? think so. So from here down. <laughs> I actually really love these. These are actually a lot of fun. Okay, so there's a rose. What are we on time? 25. We're okay. We're okay. We've got two. Let's do these currants. These like berries. I think this one is a graphics fairy, the berries. This is where I found it anyway. I think I used them in my berries kit, my cardinal. A berry berry cardinal kit is what I called it. <laughs> Just like berries and cardinals, basically, like Christmassy. Ooh, this is going to cover up most of the our upside down guys. Here, let's do this one instead. So from here down, it is kind of a big one, huh? I kind of like that, though. We'll have a big one. Bum bum. 
All right, and now for this one. This one, oh, well, maybe we'll do this one. This one's kind of smaller, maybe. Kind of an interesting looking flower, huh? I think again, a graphics fairy, maybe. I might have found this one on a wiki. It's hard to tell. Just, I had it in my folders. Marked, you know, flowers. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's perfect. We'll stick him right there. This little double... I don't know what kind of flower that is. There we go. Right, one, two, three, four. We've got four and we've got some time, so let's do some more. Let's see. Let's do this one. We'll use this little guy. Hmm, I felt bad cutting off the other one's little bud. Poor guy. Okay. I'm not sure if I want to go like down into the stems. If I want to just cut it like this. Just kind of with a big border. <laughs> I don't know. We could go down a little bit in, t in there. Still leave like quite a border, but... But not that much, you know. That works. That's good. That looks a little better, I think. These are a lot of fun. Okay, um, this one. Okay, just the fussy cutting. I'm not the biggest fan of fussy cutting. My hands start to hurt real easy. I can't find my Tim Holtz fussy cut scissors. I had them. Oh my gosh, Jania sent me... A bunch of distress ink, not ink, but um, distress paint. I am so, I'm so excited. I don't have any and I have, um, I've been wanting to play with it. And um, I recently ordered some Rusty Hinge because like I really want to try it and you know, they discontinued it. Can you believe it? I went to look and they discontinued it. Um, so when it arrived today, the um, paint, I thought it was the ink, the, the ink, the paint I ordered um, and I open it, it's a whole set. <laughs> and there's a note from Jania that's like, happy birthday. And I just, wow. I'm so excited to play with it. I'm going to start um, an art journal. So it came in perfect timing because, um, yeah, I'm going to start an art journal. And, uh, oh, I can't wait to play with the paint. Because it looks like a dream every time I watch Miss P use it, you know? It just, it looks like the texture and the way it blends and the way it just reacts. And then it dry, like it's not, you know, it like spreads with water, but then once it's dry, it's permanent, you know, and that's just amazing. So, okay, yay, I love this one. How are we on time? 31. We've got a little bit of time. We got through that whole page. Let's do this one is easy. This one will be easy to cut, I think. This 
especially if I cut it out like that and then I can more easily rotate the paper instead of my hand, you know. It's easier to rotate the paper, I noticed. Okay. Oh, look, it'll be perfect because this one will go on our one with the blue. All right, look at that, the one with the blue. We'll put it on this side like this. From here down. Okay. So I've been cleaning the house, spring cleaning, even though it's not really spring, you know, it's winter, but it's that time that, you know, I go through and like deep clean things, the dust, the ceilings, <laughs> right? And all that fun stuff. Oh, goodness. Especially in the winter because the dogs, you know, they run around in the mud and the snow and then they bring it inside and <clears throat> I don't much care for, you know, the first day or two because, you know, you just clean it up and they immediately make it a mess. But after about a day or <laughs> it's like, okay. Okay, I love this one. Let's put this one on this one. And it won't like stick up like the rest, but that's okay. Or it won't pop out because it won't stick up above the pocket. But it's pretty and we love it and it's going there. Okay, and then one more, one more, and I think we even have the time. Shall we do this one? Shall we do the roses? Which one shall we do? How about this one? And this one matches the other ones we've been doing. Yay, and then I'll take the brush to them. Just um, these like little makeup brushes you get. I get them at the um, Dollar Tree or I also get them at um, Five Below. They have always a ton of them at Five Below. Amazon also carries them. Okay, so yes, right here, right there like that. Ta-da! Okay, we have, look at that, we have flowers on every single one of our pockets. We've got six minutes to spare. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to let these top ones dry a little bit more. I'm going to grab my walnut. And this brush. Right, I'll go through and we'll ink them. like that. I'll just put some ink on there. Not being particular. <laughs> right, just knocking especially the white down off of our flowers. Ta-da! And that really does make a difference. It really does. It makes it kind of grungy, but that's what we're going for anyway. Oh yes, that's so much better. Amazing what some ink can do, huh? To a project. <laughs> if I if the pages were white, more white and not as aged, um, I would have left them white. I would have liked them white. I think it would have been fine. But I like I like it with the. with the ink for sure. I put some over here. Just kind of grungy it up a little bit. Down here. Up here. Get this one. 
Oh, I'm very happy with myself that I've made all these pockets. I don't ever mass make things like this. Oh, so it's exciting. I've got like 10 pockets or something I can play with. That is so cool. Right? And they're not too decorated, so they can still be decorated a little bit, um, which is awesome. Right? I might put some little words or sayings on them or something. I think that would be excellent. We have a couple minutes. And maybe if I can... Here we go. It's like if I can find what I'm looking for. Right? So let's just go through and put a lot of these down. More Brightly Shine. This is a Tim Holtz, I think, Chit Chat. I'm not sure. Okay. Again, we're going with the Aileen's today. Ta-da! More Brightly Shine. Isn't it cute? Okay. Next one. The most beautiful thing. The most beautiful thing. What are we on time? 38 minutes. Look at that. We've, we're still going. That shine and sparkle. My shine and sparkle. I forgot to set my auto fill, my auto, um, focus so I apologize I've been meaning to keep setting that so it doesn't switch you know throughout the video she wondered if she was dreaming sometimes I wonder if I'm dreaming <laughs> oh okay ta-da all mixed in with the other words it's actually kind of really cool I really like that okay and something she'd wanted I'm gonna put that one down there like that dum dum and that's it I think we're about out of time we are out of time we had four more pockets to put um, words on and I'm going to <laughs> coated with sugar so yes I had so much fun um thank you guys so much um I hope you all have a wonderful wonderful weekend um I will see you all soon I'm going to be um we got to do the mon on Monday for sure because we've got an envelope to do on Monday uh, this one by the light of the moon um I'm just gonna finish putting these words down really really quick that's why they're hanging upside down, see? By the light of the moon. <laughs> Bidding farewell to the warm, merry day. Like that one. Again, I'm not being particular with these. That one came out kind of crooked, but that's okay. And one more, huh? draped her loveliest feature queen of the evening that's what this flower is queen of the evening and i'll put her up here where we don't have text because she'll be easier to read and stand out better queen of the evening so yay all my pockets we've got lots and lots of pockets we've got let's see one two three let's see four five six seven eight nine 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 or ten either i either missed counted one or we have nine and so last week and i'll show you what i did so last week this is one of the pockets right i glued it in like this and then i made these little just journal cards and these little tags to go in the 
in the pocket, but that was last week's, these little envelope. And I glued it onto the corner of a page. So this week is this one, right? And I think he is going to be beautiful right there on the page, just like that. So I'm going to glue him right on the page and I'm not going to glue him like a pocket. I'm going to glue him just completely down. Just completely like that. And then I might even put like a butterfly over his page just to indicate that he's not a pocket, right? We have this blue one and he'll be perfect. This came out of that butterfly sticker book and I like fussy cut them out <laughs> while they're still on their sticker paper. And then I can just peel off their sticker paper easy. So there he is. Let's give him antennae. Yay, how cute. So there it is. This week's um, Roxy's Weekly Challenge. It was super fun. I loved the way these pockets came out. I think they came out great. So yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful um, weekend if I don't see you um, by Monday. And I will talk to you later. Bye.